sadly um Owen's audio didn't record so we use the echo of Nathan's so sorry if it does not pick up all the all the sound um but we hope you enjoy anyway. Thanks. You're listening to the sexy podcast. Hey guys, it is Nathan and Owen here from Sexy Nat T and today we are going to be bringing you a podcast. Um, the first of many. Yeah, involved. yeah, hopefully. But um, yeah, podcast. This podcast is just going to be about like talking about games and just other Xbox stuff One, in the news and four, so just stuff that's going on. So yeah. Um, so first on the agenda is some new games that are coming out, like prequels and sequels and new new games in general, that, that sort of stuff. And yeah. um, I wanted to talk about a few things. The first one I wanted to talk about was Saint Row the Four. Saint Row the oh. Four, Saint Row the Four. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, funny enough, this game has been banned. Uh, no, not the game. One of the DLCs has been banned in Australia. Okay. Do you know why? Um, um, basically, one of the DLCs was going to be, uh, do you know a probe, um, an probe is, an anal probe. Yeah. I think that's what they're called, where like, you have a camera shoved up your, you know, your hiney. Yeah, Well, yeah. um, there's a DLC where, it, where there's something, that's got something to do with it, and Australia <laughs> didn't like the idea of having, I think that's what they're called, anal probes, didn't like yeah. having, the, I didn't have, like the idea of anal probes on a game, so they banned that DLC from the game. Okay, that's really weird. And, well, um... and also, there's a mission, hold on, see, there's a mission that involves something else sexual, and Australia have also made the game ban that mission from the game in Australia. Okay. That's pretty weird. But, um, yeah. Well, on yeah, In Saints Row 4, um, it's going to be like, it was supposed to be like a DLC for Saints Row 3, but they thought it was like a bit too big, and yeah, they what kind of... What was going to be a DLC? Saints Row 4. Was it? Yeah. Which is really weird. Oh, cool. But it was it was too big to. It was too big. It was too big to be like a DLC, so they just kind of changed it into a standalone game. Cause you know, in the first one, have you ever played the first one? Uh, yeah. Wait, like you got to join the crew. Yeah. And then the second one, you like the leader, and then the third one, you like this like public role model kind of thing. And then, the, and then in the fourth one, the new one, you actually the president of Steelport. Yeah, so it's gonna it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be really good if um like yeah. Apparently, aliens come over and come take over and stuff. So you yeah. know, fun and cool. Yeah. Um. Next. Um. There's a, something I wanted to say. Um, first, don't know if you've heard about this one, but it's the Oculus Rift. Yeah, the, like, the virtual game thing. Yeah, um, Where, like, it's, put, it's, like, um, like, goggles. It's available for a pre-order now. Um, it's basically a virtual reality helmet, so you use it against lots of different things. Um, <laughs> you got this Google Chrome. <laughs> I got a what? Have you got a page of it up on, um, on Google Chrome? Chrome. No. Uh, are you just like going off, going off your memory? I can, I can get one up. Yeah, okay, I'll read the description. The Oculus Rift is a next generation virtual reality headset designed for immersive gaming. Be part of history by getting your own Oculus Rift development kit. I'll see how much it is while you continue. continue it's 300 off. US continue dollars. Off. Yeah, I'll say how much that is. Can you say how much that is? In, I'll, I'll, I'll search how much it is. Three hundred in pounds. It is exactly one hundred and ninety-six pounds and thirty-six pence for you um, English people. Whew. That's, wow. That's a lot. Yeah, but still, it's three hundred in um, American so. Oh, have you heard about the um? Going off topic for a quick second. Have you heard about the the, the, the what they call the razor like razor handheld things? And they're like, PewDiePie just did a video on them. 
I'll search them um, up while you talk about the Oculus Rift. I'll search them up. Well, yeah, the um, the Oculus, pr ugh, the Oculus Rift, basically, just as it is, it's um, obviously a virtual reality helmet. So you play a game, and apparently, it's one of the most accurate kind of ones in the world. Um, but basically, you kind of you look around, you look behind, and it looks like really real while you're playing the game. So, yeah. Um, so the these are, okay, I'll link, I'll link you this to this, Nathan, because so you can like have a little look at it. Um, this is the very reason I this is like two remote controls, and you hold them in each hand, and when you move them around, it like moves around on the game. That makes sense. So it's perfect for searches simulate there. And like when you move around, it moves on the hand. Um, if you look at PewDiePie's video, he did on it. It looks pretty good, and um, they're done by Razer, so the big gaming company, Razer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're called Razer Hydra. Mm, that looks pretty good. motion sensor controller. Alright, it's uh, loading up now, or something. It costs, let's have a look how much this costs. Uh, it costs 89 in pounds. I don't know how much that is in dollars again, I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, hold on. Eighty nine nine oh god ninety nine in dollars. Okay, that is a hundred and twenty three dollars and eighty cents. Ah, okay. This looks so like Whoa. like imagine if you're locking Smith and that together, that's a pretty good combo. Yeah. That's me. That's that, just a good company in general. Limited edition portal two. Motion pack DLC. Whoa. We're kind, of, we're kind of moving off topic here, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, what were we talking about? We were talking about Oculus Rift. So, yeah, that's pretty much all about the Oculus Rift. What's uh, next on the agenda? Um, There was a, oh, a, a couple of Nintendo games. Oh, yeah. Alright. Um, Nintendo. Obviously, they're working on quite a lot of stuff at the moment. Um, they got Pokemon X and Y coming out really soon. Um, really? I've, I've, pre I've pre-ordered it myself, so... Um, Just yeah. pre-order that. Yeah, of course I would. <laughs> anyway, um, they're bringing that out. They, um, they've they announced um, Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS. So, I'll, I might get the 3DS version, see how that's like. Because we use are just expensive. Um, we use just expensive. What yeah. a definition. Yeah, exactly. But um, yeah. What is this? What did you just send me? Yeah, no, look, I never knew. Razer did a, a console section. You click on, you click on the extra at the top. It's like a, like an old-fashioned gaming controller. Okay. But he's an axe, but he's clicked on it. Atrox. Atrox. Is that what Atrox. I don't know. Don't, okay. It's not my fault, I cannot read. Okay. Anyway, yeah. moving on. Again, so you're cool. still talking about Pokemon and all that? Um, yeah, so Pokemon X and Y coming out. Uh, Super Smash Brothers. They... They're bringing out quite a lot of um, stuff on the um, eShop at the moment. Um... Yeah, there's um, a lot of downloadable content. There's been an up update, ugh. and yeah, stuff like that. Um, What's the Oh, it's like on your 3DS or DS or whatever. I don't have a DS. Um, there's a shop, online shop, and it's called the eShop, oh. and you you pay money to get like downloadable games or, and stuff like that. Is it? Is it basically? Um, Nintendo's version of the um, Xbox Marketplace or Steam. Means that. Uh, yeah, pretty much. But um, also next, they even they what? They brought out um new Super Mario Bros. U, but um now they are releasing a DLC for it called New Super Luigi U. Um, it's it's going to be a DLC and um a standalone game. So if you don't want to buy it for the main game you can just get it on its own which i think is pretty you know pretty good yeah sounds, sounds pretty decent yeah um 
Okay, okay, moving off like Nintendo for a bit. Um, are you gonna get the new Splinter Cell Blacklist? Because I pre-ordered that. No, I, I, I'm not really like into Splinter Cell and a bit. Because I'm like whatever. I'm a massive fan of um, stealth, and I've, I've played pretty much all the Splinter Cells. Because when the, when we had the, when we had when we had the oh god, I just started there. When we had we used to have an original Xbox, and mm. we had one of the Splinter Cells on that, and that, I just got so hooked to it. I used to mm. I was addicted to that game. Nice. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just gonna go on the Xbox website. Uh, I'm quick. on GameSpot. Oh, eh? No. I'm gonna go on the Xbox um, website, see what's on. Um, obviously, um, they they've started this new thing, which is pretty old by now. But it's um, you get free games every month or every half month with um, games for gold. Now, what I this is, that you can find it. Basic. Basically, um, games for gold is you have a gold account on your Xbox, and each, yeah. obviously, each half month you get a free game. But um, how you got to do this? You got to go into the games. Usually, um, yeah, usually it's just on games and that. And then yeah, you go on there. There's a thing that says games with gold. Um, at the moment it's Crackdown, which is pretty cool. Crackdown uh, one or two? One. Because I have two. Did you, did, did you have two when we used to mess around all the time when it, with um, Sticky Boy? Or whatever his name was, Ben. I Remember had... the Welsh one? Yeah, I had um, the the trial of it, I think. But, yeah. I still have the second one. But, yeah, so it says here, games, games of gold, get two free games a month with Xbox Live Gold. Link us to the website, gold. please. Hmm? Link us to the website, please. I... Uh, Whenever you talk about something, if you, could, you wouldn't mind just link this to the website, that'd be great. Cause, yeah. You know, I could stick with it. Yeah, that's um, yeah, that's what on that's what's on at the moment. Um, also Xbox One. Um. Oh, before quickly, can I be a pain? Before we go on to that, can I just say, um, have you ever heard of the Fez series? Two things I want to say. Have you ever heard of the Fez series? No. Oh, the Fez. Fez, the little strategy game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, FPS dead. Yeah. The bin out of second one. Nice. Uh, I never knew that. And also, um, the, um, instead of bringing out Call of Duty, whatever, Call of Duty, whatever, they're bringing out, is it Call of Duty Ghost? Yeah, Call of Duty Ghost. Um, it's for the new console as well. Battlefield 4. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so moving up back to the Xbox One. Alright, I sent you a link to it. Um, Xbox One. Yep. Some people think it's a waste of money. Some people think it's really good. Um, I think at the first time they released it, it looked pretty bad. It's like you had to be connected to the internet all the time and everything like that. But now that they've changed it, it actually looks really good. Like, um, just looking at the first page of it, it's got like a little thing, video kind of thing. And it, it looks really sleek, really cool design. Um, it's got all... Like it's got a whole new look. Obviously, there is a new, there is an Xbox out at the moment, Xbox 360. That has this kind of look. But um, the good thing is, it has the X, uh, the connect with it, and everything like that. It's got um, simple, you instant, complete. So it's just like as soon, you know, simple. You could add snaps to it now as well. Um, you could do two things at once, and they say here. Xbox One is going to be so lifelike, you'll swear they're real. And cinematic worlds, characters that are more human than ever. So, yeah. Um, are you going to get one? I'm not sure. I might. I, I don't know. Because knowing that the Xbox, how much was the Xbox 360 when it first came out? That was like 300, I think. It was like, yeah, like because it's about all... 100 now for this, the, the latest one out. I think it was like, yeah, about 200 to 300, would, would you say? The yeah. new Xbox One is £430. Now, it look, it sounds really good. I'll see how much that is in me. But I'm not even, like, sure. Oh if... my god, that is £657. US dollars. <laughs> 600 The thing <laughs> is, mental. I think, I think... 
in America they earn like quite a lot more than yeah, in the UK, yeah, they so do earn more. it'll probably yeah. be exactly the same. So obviously to us it's quite a lot, but to them it's probably just normal. Because they probably do, they probably do it the other way around and think, oh god, that's cheap. Yeah. But then actually in theory we earn less than them. Yeah. But four hundred twenty-nine pounds. That is a lot. Yeah. Um, but on on the actual like reserve one. Res it says re here, reserve your. Oh, hold on. I clicked on it, yeah. Oh, you're you're on it. Okay. You want me to read so, it out? No. Nah, uh, yeah, if you want. It says reserve your day one, um, edition. A day, day one edition a day. So okay. basically, the first yeah. to experience. Oh, what are you gonna say? I was gonna say basically, it's just got a limited edition controller and exclusive achievement. And it's like limited, so. Uh -huh. Um, they've some okay. Apparently, reserve your expo um your day one edition. I guess that's like the special edition games yeah. today. So um, ah, oh, let me see if I can find it. But they've like announced that games that they're gonna release for Xbox One games. Yeah, like they got they got Forza Motorsport Five. They got Rise Son of Rome, which looks alright. Um, Are you in, on it? in Dead Rising Three, I now I really want to. I've seen the trailer. And stuff for this on Xbox 360, but um, all all of these are gonna be included in the day one package, and also you get um a 12 month membership of it. In it includes one Xbox One Killer Instinct Round One digital game, playable with exclusive Shadow Jago character. So can I? Um, oh, I, I thought you finished. Okay, can I quickly interrupt to say the main thing? But can I read off, okay, a few of the games that they're releasing for Xbox One? Um, Assassin's Creed 4, Battlefield 4, Below, Call of Duty Ghost, The Crew, Crimson Dragons, 4D, Dead Rising 3. Is that what you were talking about? Were you talking about Dead Island? Uh, Dead Rising. Dead probably. Rising, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, Destiny, The Division, Dragon. not really going to do Dragon Age for it. Dying Light, Elder Scrolls Online, I'm getting that for the PC. Um, Fantasy Music Evolved, FIFA Scho um, Scholar 14, Final Fantasy XV, and there's a load more. They even released Minecraft, the, the recent the original yeah, yeah. Lewis Edge, Not. and Plant vs. Zombies, there's a load more. Mm. A load. Just uh, quickly, um, when you said it was um, like 600 something for the US. Uh -huh. Um, it's four four hundred ninety nine. So it's five hundred dollars. Really? So it's actually cheap in America. So than in 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 UK, it's three hundred twenty seven pound twenty six. How did you get? How did you find it cheap? I just searched Xbox One and it came up with. No, because on 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 the reserve on the reserve it says um. Oh, you went to the official. I yeah. Argos. Says four hundred ninety nine. Dollars ninety nine, but um yeah, so it's got that on here. It's got everything. S some of the games featured, um, Dead Rising Three. Obviously, it looks really good. It's more of an open world experience now than the other ones. Like even though it was open world in the last ones, you get to like open, like further. It's a huge world. Um, um yeah. Because it wouldn't be the fifth one. Um, Cause they have Dead Rising One. Dead Rise and 2, Dead Rise and, like, Case 2, Case West, Dead Rise and yeah. 2, this would be like the 5th or 6th one, so, I do believe. I don't, technically those are kind of spin-off games, but this is like the third official. The, 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 of the storyline. Yeah. Like, like on Saints Row. Yeah. Not Saints Row, sorry, like on, um, Halo. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, we kind of been a bit biased to Xbox. Yeah, but I think we should better talk about some PlayStation. Yeah, we, yeah, we should. Um, obviously, we're not <laughs> really we're not PlayStation, PlayStation fans. Yeah. Yeah, so we don't really know like ex exactly what to talk about. So um, um, I'll only be a second, okay? I'm just gonna close the door. Okay. Well, anyway, guys. Um, right here. Obviously, um, there is a few reasons I would PS4 and just normal PlayStation 3. They look pretty good actually to me even though I'm not exactly a one of those people who'd say that but the only reason for that is that 
mainly they got like amazing games like for only for PS3 and PS4 um like The Last of Us and like Little Big Planet and things like that but um as well as that they got some amazing PS4 like own games and things like that are you on the UK PlayStation website yeah Oh, the controller looks nifty. It's got like a little screen in the middle. Yeah. It's a, it's like a little there. touchpad. Yeah, is that what it is? Yeah. Like, like pretty much exactly the same as the Wii U. Yeah. Oh, oh the also, also, nifty. um, they have Pottermore on um, like, PS3, and I, that looks really good. But obviously, they don't have it on anything else. Yeah, sometimes okay. Ah. See, I might buy myself the PlayStation 4. How much is it? Pre-order. Um, Let's have a look. PS4. It will be... Let's have a look. I mean, £349.99. £300 what? £345.99. That, that's cheaper than the Xbox One. And, uh, and the games do look a lot better on Xbox One. Um. Yeah. So it'll be three hundred and forty nine, wasn't it? Ninety nine. Yeah. And in US dollar, that would be five hundred thirty four dollars seventy one cents. So, pfft. guys, it seems so much to us, but I bet to you it's like nothing. But um. <laughs> How do we even know we have American audience? Well, dude, okay, look, I was looking on our views and our subscriptions, and most of them are from Mexico, like the um, like the, the American speaker, English speaking part of Mexico, or like the main Florida kind of area. Is Florida in America? In America I do believe. Uh, yeah, Florida. I think. Yeah. Look, I'll, I'll 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 send you a link to how I know most of our um, audience is America, American, even. Okay. Let me just get this map up of um, views. Where's the? Oh god, I was on it the other day. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Look, it shows where most of our views come from. The light, the like, the, the more the blue, the better. And then if you hold over it, it says how many views. So, the United States had three hundred nineteen views. America and um, America, sorry, United Kingdom has four hundred eleven. So like about half, just under half. Hmm. See, that's how I know. But you didn't know this existed. No, I did not. Woo. See, isn't that just mental? See, yeah. I bet, that, I bet that means nothing. See, it doesn't mean, okay, I look at big YouTube and think, like, oh, 4,000 subscribers, that's nothing. But when it actually happens to you yourself, you realise yeah. that's actually, like, a massive number. We've had 28 views from Canada. Five Norway... Uh, no. Five more waves. South views. Africa has one, one view. Okay. Australia has 26. Brazil has four. Argentina has two. Our most viewed video is... Sa Saudi Street Arabia track. has one. Where's that? Saudi Arabia. Russia has two. Sweden has five. Finland has two. Okay, we're we, we need to get... Yeah. Here. Um, okay. How about... Minecraft, like news from Minecraft. Um, I'll go on the Minecraft forums. Um, so it's gonna go on. I was gonna go on Minecraft.net because you know. And um, oh, you guys, okay, you, you chances are you are watching this on our YouTube channel, but if you go over to sexynatty.webs.com, you can get a, a podcast um thing, and we'll add a download link for all of them for you guys soon enough. It won't be up straight away, but it will be up soon enough. Just thought I'd add that in there. Oh, um. Well, just um, off to off kind. Well, not really off topic, but um, at the moment, if we upload this today, for seventy two yeah, hours, um, there'll be a minathon, um, like a live stream, benefiting Able Gamers um, Foundation. Seventy two hours. Yeah. Well, for seventy two hours, and it was at six, so it's on at the moment. Probably depends on when we get this. Uploaded. Yeah, it'll be uploaded by the end of today. Oh uh, yeah. If if you wanna 
go to it. We'll probably put a link in the description. And, um, yeah, also on the Minecraft forums, it's the first thing on the page. Um, next, Minecon tickets are out. So, if you want to get your hands on some tickets, um, release schedule is that ticket batch one, Wednesday, July 31st at 4 pm PDD, uh, BDT, uh, sorry, 7 pm EDT, uh, batch two, Friday, August 2nd at 7 am PDT, 10 am EDT, and batch three, Saturday, August 3rd, 12 pm PDD. PDT, sorry, 3 p.m. EDT. So, um, yeah, that's the schedule, uh, for that. Sadly, we won't be there though, because you know. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not, just we're too not. cool. Okay. Um, so the next thing on my oh, wait, 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 is wait. A paper. You are, you, there's a link here, it's visit minecon.mojang.com to book. Uh, tickets are $150 each, which oh, is. Mental. Hold on. I'll have a look how much $150 look. is. Which is? That is um, £98.18. Pounds pounds. Um, and three year olds and under get in for free and don't need a ticket. Nathan, I think you should pretend you're three. I think you'll get away with it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the least new skin, skin pack for Xbox. Oh, it's a Borderlands one. Borderlands 2 skin pack for Xbox. Minecraft. Oh, nice. Scroll down a bit. It also, okay, um, before we do that, I want to say this. It's a paper craft contest. Um, it's oh, yeah. basically the prizes are first place gets grand um, gets iPad Mini Xbox 360 with Minecraft and 50 um mo like mo um dollars in the Bojang store. Second Jinx. place gets iPod Touch and 50 um dollars in Minecraft. Oh no, it's not Minecraft store. It's Jinx gift yeah. cards. So Jinx. I completely read that wrong. And third place just gets fifty dollars in the Jinx store. I think um, I'd either get there? I'd either get third or first because I don't. Hmm. I've got an iPod. No. Um, but you enter. Apple, grab one? yourself a copy of Minecraft yeah. Papercraft okay, Studio for iOS I Android app coming soon. Uh, print your chosen blocks. Easy craft tile. Blah blah blah. I actually made some Papercraft. Did you? Oh, yeah, nice. I made I made you in Papercraft. Okay. Take the best photo <laughs> you can submit um, using the big green button oh below, uh, and stay tuned for Five Seven Studios will announce the winners at the end of the contest and showcase the best photos. Okay, if you want to enter, grab yourself a copy of of your read all this. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought you were reading the above part. I, I do apologise. So okay. um, also. There's a pretty launcher now, which is just an update. Um, there's Lego new Lego sets and TU13. What's TU13, Nathan? I don't know. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> I can't because it's a video. But anyway, that's enough Minecraft oh. for the moment. Uh, what else? Um. Well, we are okay. If you, if you want to keep going, we can. But we are able to stop the video now, we've got a good enough length, but if you want to keep going, go ahead. Um, what else is there? Um, I think, uh, have you seen these Borderlands skin packs? Yeah. For Minecraft? Yeah. It's got, um, it's got, oh, what's the black dude called the soldier? What's his name? Roland. Roland, and there's got... Racist. Uh, is it? Oh, I don't know what it is, I don't know, I don't play Borderlands. <laughs> Um, you've got the magical d girl, you've got the evil dude, you've got two other dudes. And I don't know. But yeah, cool. There's no <laughs> robot dude, where's the robot dude at? Where's the evil? I don't, do not play. Can you tell I don't play Black, um, don't play Borderlands 2? Yeah, kind of. Only one, only one I know is zero, and that's because zero's a magical number. <laughs> no, it isn't. It is? Oh, no, it's seven. <laughs> <laughs> No, three I mean, is the magic number, but um. Well, what's seven then? Seven to look in there. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, there's got to be one more thing. Oh, um, we'll cover one more thing. Let's have a look. Um, oh, ooh. oh. Um, the um, the new consoles, the new app kind of 
the mobile smart mobile consoles um let me just go to the game anyway, website uh, I'm, I'm just in that little like block cube thing oh that's it, it that's it is that what it is um where is it Ugh, I think, I don't um, know. Oh, come on Smart so, gaming oh, console. here, they got Game Stick, Music which is, is uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the, no, the, the, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The, the oh, yeah. The, the so, first, first, let's just quickly do the Game Stick. Game Stick is literally a little oh. USB stick with a, con a controller, and basically, you get a dock with it if you want. Uh, basically, what it does, it, um... Oh. Powered by Android, GameStick offers a wide choice of new games from top developers, and you can even comes, and it even comes with two pre-installed games, Smash Cops and Shadow Gun, um, to get you going. Plus, the GameStick uses specially designed controller for traditional gaming experience, which you can use to store and transport the GameStick wherever you go. Boop, done. So yeah, that's okay, look at the one I just sent you. The, 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 oh, I don't know how you say it. Is it oh yeah? Oh yeah. Now, one thing I do know that's about this, think. okay, is everyone, everyone in, the, in like anywhere but America is having a kickoff because it's. I'm, I'm just gonna like, jump straight to this, okay? It's ninety nine dollars in America, but it's also ninety nine pounds in the UK. Oh. And everyone else, it's ninety nine whatever, everywhere. So that that so that's how bad whoever developers made this uh, uh um can uh, like convert money. Uh okay, that's pretty weird. Yeah, see, if you're gonna do it for ninety nine dollars in America, come on, do it for like for fifty well, whatever it is. It, I don't know. it should be sixty five pound forty five. I'm just gonna keep a, a tab open of co um Google convert Google money converter. That's what I got. <laughs> but, um, going to it. So what is it? Um. Um, it basically, it's like a little cube. Um, let me see if I can find a description. I'm gonna discover. It says um, introducing um, a whole a whole new way to experience games and entertainment on your TV. Oya runs on Android operating system, being the first console to let you develop and publish your own games. That sounds pretty cool though. If you program your Android, you can become you can program for Oya. It comes with an SDK built in, giving you the tools you need to make and summit a great game. Um, yeah. Do you want to read on from there? Um, no, because I'm not sure what page you are. But, uh, alright. Um, the Android OS also means you have a custom interface, um, game store right at your fingertips, stuck with no only games like the legendary Final Fantasy franchise. Um, She's got Vivo, she's got iHeartRadio, she's got Twitch TV. Um, really? Yeah. And, um, okay, there's, yeah. There's, there's, there's a few games out for already, well, going to be out for, I don't know whether it's out or not already, but there's already a few games. One's called Towerfall, another one's called Shadow Gun, Bomb Squad, Final Fantasy III, so is that three? I don't know Roman numbers. I, 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 I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. Um, FPS for uh, um, or oh yeah, oh yeah I don't I don't know Jack. It'll it'll do. Get that? It'll do. It'll do. Yeah. The Bard's Tale. Veen Sword Shadowland. Sonic the Hedgehog Episode Four. No, on Sonic the Hedgehog Chog Four Episode One. Um. Nightmare Tower. There's a load of them. Hidden in plain sight, I just got that game for the, for the Xbox, and it is amazing. I'm not going to read any more because there's a bunch. Also, but, um, um, just one quick thing. Um, just wanted to say, um, even though it's completely off topic, um, Nintendo are releasing a new Sonic game for the 3DS and Wii U. And it's basically, a, I saw this earlier. It's about um, Sonic and Eggman. Uh, it says in the description, they have to work together to defeat six evil people or something so yeah sorry standard yeah. say that <laughs> so that's that's it for this for the, this podcast yeah we're we gonna do these weekly monthly fortnightly every two weeks what, something, we, I, we do something like that i don't know and we'll 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 put it on the
the website when we've declared what we're going to do. Yeah. So I hope you did enjoy this week's first podcast. Uh, it was fun. Yeah, it was, it yeah. was pretty fun. Yeah. So these going to be out like, every two weeks, should I say? Two weeks? Yeah, something fun. like that. <laughs> yeah, and they'll be uploaded on the YouTube channel and on our um, website. Website, And you can be able to... Uh, I'd uh, probably, probably put them on the uh, on podcast.com where you can download them for your own and put them on your mobile device and stuff. And you could listen to them and stuff, yeah. Hope you did enjoy. Hope you did enjoy, um, children. No, you I sound so right. Um Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And bye. Bye.